I'm Casey Quaretti. This is Chat and Dish, and we are celebrating the fact that this happens to be National Florida Tomato Month. What are we celebrating with? Ooh, I thought we'd make some Florida Marys. What do we need for making our Florida Bloody Marys? It's super simple. We need fresh tomatoes, about two cups. We need one cucumber that you've got diced. We need sriracha, two tablespoons, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, a quarter cup or more of your favorite vodka. Then we're going to need a half a cup of tomato juice, fresh lemon juice, about two tablespoons, half a teaspoon of salt. That's it. Let's go make some drinks. Grab a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper, toss on your tomato chunks and your cucumber. Spread that out so that it's one even layer. Pop it in the freezer for 45 minutes. Cold, cold, cold. Our tomatoes and cucumbers are frozen, so let's pop them in the blender. Along with the tomato juice, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, and then for the sriracha, depending on how hot you like it, you can go one tablespoon, two, three tablespoons. My husband doesn't like his Bloody Marys too hot, so I'm just sticking with one tablespoon. I'm going to pulse blend this until it's nice and smooth. Before we add the ice cold vodka, I just want to take a little taste test and make sure that the spices are right. Ooh, that's fantastic. Okay, ice cold vodka goes in and it goes back to be blended about four or five times. That's it. Okay, here they are, frozen Florida Bloody Marys. Time to pour. Oh, this looks absolutely marvelous. Oh yes, I am going to be tasting this. Oh, it's got such a nice little zip to it and the fresh tomatoes are absolutely perfect. Hey, it's at the best way in the whole world to celebrate National Florida Tomato Month. I poured one for you too, by the way. As always, thank you for visiting and sharing this frozen Florida Mary with me. Until next time, I'm going to miss you. Cheers.